Hansel Gretel and Me was an idea that came from Christopher Hansen, our artistic director. He wanted to make a ballet and before he even began to get into the studio and approach the ballet, he wanted to consult with a whole range of community participants. New productions normally come about from the top down, if you like, from the creative team, myself, the designer. I wanted this to be built from the ground up, so the idea of um, sharing the research part of it with the people of Scotland was a perfect way for me to create my first production for the company. Hansel and Gretel and Me began in autumn 2012 with a series of storytelling workshops and dance workshops where primary school children explored the ideas of Hansel and Gretel through traditional storytelling methods and then created dance sessions and then we encouraged them to write stories for the competition. Oh, well the kids have been exciting. They've been so excited by the whole affair and there's some brilliant ideas come out. I think the strangest thing that I've had though is the trees changing from being benevolent to being evil. I liked it when they got lost because it was really scary that was what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next. And we were thinking of making the ending kind of scary. The witch kidnaps their mother and then they're left in the house all alone. And then to be continued because we don't know. Um, around that time we also launched the adult writing competition with the Scotsman. Chris has been selecting the winners and looking at the stories, taking some time to look at what is truly inspiring him. The production of Hansel and Gretel is going to be shaped from the artwork and the stories that we've had uh, coming into Scottish Ballet and I thought I'd just share some of them with you. There's this one which I really, really liked. This shows obviously a path into the forest. And I like the concept that the forest is sort of never ending. This really um, appealed to me. Birds are quite an important theme in the original Hansel and Gretel story. And I'm actually using ravens to pull the thread of the story through and to pull Hansel and Gretel deeper and deeper into the forest. And we've also got this one from um, Orkney. Again, it's got that theme of a pathway as well, uh, going through and past a really, really scary bat. Um, but I like that the moon's a very strong image in this as well. And I like the idea of the eyes peering through the forest. It's often the scary element of the story is not what you can see, it's what you can't see. And I think this really uh, illustrates that brilliantly. Well, the Woodlands performances took place around Easter time this year and they took place in five areas across Scotland. We worked with a range of community participants. Some were young people, some adults, um, some of them new to dance, some of them experienced dancers. They went out and explored the trees and built dens and just um, really thought about the story from a practical perspective. What was really exciting for us was that the final performance had full production support, so we had a technical crew there and stage management support, and we had Alex Rigg, a visual artist, who created a beautiful gingerbread house for us and a huge moon and some costumes for the young people. The final phase of Hansel and Gretel and Me is the audition process. It then leads into young dancers being involved in the actual full-scale Hansel and Gretel production this Christmas. And we've been looking for young people who have that spark about them. We've been overwhelmed with the amount of young people that applied to audition and who really enjoyed the experience with us. They got a chance to dance in front of Chris, but also with our soloist Eve Mutzel, who is on the poster for the production. It's been a really exciting process and one that I don't know any other company has done, any other ballet company. It's been fantastic, the response that we've had from community members of all ages. And now we are just really looking forward to seeing the final production and to see the influence that our project has had on that creative process.